The U.S. Navy filed patents for craft wrapped in plasma fields capable of reducing inertia. The diagrams look less like military tech and more like rejected Gundam design sheets. Skeptics call it pseudoscience. The Navy, on the other hand, spent half a million dollars investigating it, which, in government terms, is about the cost of three toilet seats and a coffee mug. Compare that to UC's Saikamu orbs in bits, glowing, inertia-defying weapons dancing around mobile suits. What was anime in 1979 shows up as Navy paperwork in 2019. At the same time, physicist Hal Putoff was funded by the CAA to study remote viewing, essentially psychic perception. Yes, the government actually paid people to close their eyes and say, I see Moscow, and also a cheeseburger. This is pure new type territory. Amuro Ray and Lala Soon guided their bits through resonance, not joysticks. Kudov may not have invented funnels, but he came dangerously close to inventing a taxpayer-funded Gundam episode. Here's the kicker. Gundam's reactors aren't magic. They're just fusion. In UC, every mobile suit runs on a ultra compact Manofsky fusion reactor. Small, stable, and powerful, enough to power beam rifles and funnels alike. In our world, Microsoft and Helion are building the first commercial fusion plant by 2028. And the Navy's plasma compression fusion device patent looks suspiciously like a Gundam tech manual. 